What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 controller will not update. Let's get right into this. It is very important to keep your console and controller updated. The PlayStation 5 is the first Sony console that has software updates for the controller. Your PlayStation 5 will prompt you to upgrade your controller immediately upon first setup. When a new firmware update becomes available, you will get a notification the same way. However, if you do not get a notification about an update, there is a few things that you can do yourself to fix the issue. First, make sure that the controller is fully charged. The update process takes a lot of power and it might fail if the battery life is too short. The only way to update the PlayStation 5 controller is by connecting the controller to the PlayStation 5 via the USB cable. The controller will not update wirelessly. Once connected to the console using the USB cable, follow the steps to check to see if there is an update. First on the home screen, go to settings. Next you're going to want to click on accessories. Then you're going to select controller followed by the DualSense wireless controller device software. Now if it shows an available update, follow the on-screen instructions to update your controller. Next you're going to want to make sure that there's not actually an update waiting on the console itself. If there's an update waiting for the actual console, you're going to want to make sure you complete that first before attempting to update your controller. Next if that didn't work, you're going to try repairing the controller to the console. To do this, you're going to want to go to the home screen and go into settings and then accessories. This time you're going to select general followed by Bluetooth accessories. Now you're going to select controller, then choose delete. Now connect the controller to the console using the USB cable and press the PlayStation button to pair the controller once again. Lastly, if that didn't work, try to reset the controller. To do this, you're going to turn off your controller. You're going to find the reset hole on the back of the controller. It should be next to the Sony logo. You're going to press and hold the button, inserting a small pin inside the hole. Now you're going to connect the controller to the PlayStation 5 with the USB cable, and you're going to press the PlayStation button to reset reconnect the controller to the console. Now hopefully one of these fixes did work for you and if you found this video helpful please leave a like. Now if unfortunately your controller will still not update even though you tried all of these steps, hopefully your controller is still in working order and you can still use your PlayStation 5 controller because the PlayStation 5 controllers are way expensive than previous consoles so hopefully it's still working for you and will continue to work for you even though you can't update the controller. Now eventually you might have to replace the controller altogether, but hopefully it's still working enough for you right now that you can continue using it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.